Cool. Alright. Let's see. Standing in front of a great wizard. Alright. You, the hooded child, look up at the man shivering. Oh, I guess we are outside. We are drenched from the rain, that's why we are shivering. Alright. Well, aren't you a soggy... A little wretch? Alright. This is the Academy Elementinia. Alright, so there is another option for Harry Potter to go. And it's not Hogwarts. I am... It's principal. In Guardian, Elementine. Alright, Principal Elementine. Nice to meet you. Wait, um, Elementinia, Elementine. Alright. And you don't seem to have an invitation. Um, oh, wait, huh? Disguised goblins and horrid little goblins try to sneak into the academy all the time. Oh, and I am so sorry that I think I might be blocking, well, a bit, yeah, a bit of the game screen, a bit of the game's dialogue. But I will try to pronounce, I will try to say and read things clearly with, yes, a lot of clarity so that you guys can understand what I am trying to talk and what word that I'm possibly covering, that I'm hiding behind my back. But yes, alright, so... Mm, he studies you for a while longer. Alright. So, I admit, you do seem terribly weak. Why are you here? I'm not sure as well why I'm here. But looking at how... Um, he is being very, very not so hospitality with us, not so friendly with us. I'm guessing he doesn't share the same hobby as Dumbledore, which is picking up orphans, picking up and taking care of children that are looking like they are in need of some, well, elders' guidance, I guess. And why are you here? Alright, and they gave us several choices to go. I'm actually liking the choices that they gave us. There is, I want to be a wizard. I cannot feel my toes. I literally don't know and... <laughs> the last one seems a little bit on the Hitman kind of game side. I'm here to kill you. But I personally will go with what I am feeling right now. So we will go with the third choice. I literally don't know. <laughs> but before we are actually progressing with the game, before we are actually getting into this game, let me welcome you to Yes, this is another cozy and relaxing long play of this game called Leximan. And yes, this game, I'm not going to be able to play this game if it's not because of Marvel's Europe, the publisher of this game. Thank you for the offer to play and cover this game. This game will not be here, we will all not be here if it's not because of Marvel's Europe, so thank you so much. And of course, to the developer of the game, Knight Warriors, thank you so much for developing this game. And yes... 
Okay, everyone, I hope today we can have a cozy and relaxing day with this game. Alright, we will talk later, we will talk more later as we go and experience the game. So for now, let's just choose the third option. I literally don't know. And... Um, excuse me? You don't know? I do not know, yes, sir. Literally? Uh, I feel like this game is going to be so much fun. I'm especially, if you take a look at the left corner of the screen, the left, the bottom left corner, you can see that the principal is actually having an angry face, and it's hilarious. It's cute. This is a perilous hike magic zone. Zone, yes. You would not just wander here for an afternoon stroll. You must be here for a reason. Well, it's not exactly afternoon at the time that I'm reading this. Right now, it's actually very late at night. That's why I think today you are going to be seeing my Nike energy. This is my nighttime energy. But I do hope that that's not going to hinder us from having a night full with cozy and relaxing time. Alright, let's just call it a cozy and relaxing night time at Leximan. And okay, this principal apparently just needs another class, I think, in their academy, which is Angel Management class. So, alright, yes, completely alone, no parents, no gang of monsters here to ambush me. I'm starting to feel like we are going to be another Harry Potter. It's not Lexi man, it's Potter man. Okay, what about a name? Oh, that's good. Should I name myself as Harry? I mean, Harry has a re in it. And my name, of course, if you guys don't know just yet, my name is Riri. So, hmm. Alright, what is the child's name? Oh, actually, the game gave us a default name. Leximan, that's the name of the game as well. So, if you guys are curious about this game, you can definitely go to your Steam store and then type the name immediately. You are going to see the game. Or you can just also check out my description because I'm going to add the link to this game on the Steam store over there as well. But yeah, since they gave us a default name, let's just go with that one. Yes, Laximan. Alright, here we go. And... <laughs> that name is a crap. I'm going to call you Groblin. Instead, I don't mind to be called anything to be honest, anything as long as that name does not come from me. Anyway, alright. Oh, I got an achievement. Alright, but that was so fast, I cannot check what it is. Anyway, I don't know how I can. Hmm? Alright. Cutting off. He squints at something you have been carrying under your arm the whole time. What am I carrying? What is that? Yeah, that is actually my question as well, sir. Because I cannot see myself. And... Wait, <laughs> wait, what is this dialogue? Oh my gosh. What is under your arm? Alright. 
we get to choose what it is that is going to be under our arm. It could be a magic book. It could be my toes. I cannot feel them. And we could put on maybe like a scary front. Yeah, and then like clap me in. I cannot tell you what I'm bringing with me. Just let me in. Or we could turn this game into maybe a simple GTA in one sentence by saying your mom. <laughs> this game is actually very funny. You know, the first time I opened this game, I had the thought to, yes, maybe let's try to play this in a cozy and relaxing way and see if this is going to be yes another game that we can have our cozy and relaxing time in but now looking at how the dialogue and how the choices right now i think it might get not going to be so relaxing <laughs> but yeah i'll go with my personal choice all right Usually when it is at this kind of choice, when I'm being given this kind of choice, I always try to go with my guts, yeah? And probably this game is going to come out sooner than the Shin Megami Tensei V Vengeance, but in there, you will also see that I usually go with choices that I think I'm like i have the most relatableness to like i can relate to those choices the most so yes we will go with this one let me in <laughs> ah, would you please see that infernal screeching all right i don't know about infernal but i like inferno just give me that thing. What is that thing, by the way? We haven't established that at all. With a spell, Elementine levitates the book under your arm into his hand, reading the cover. Oh. So that is a book. Just a magic book. A normal magic book? Lexicon? Um, okay. I have never seen anything like this. Me too. It's not filled with runes, but random words. Huh? He looks hungry for the new knowledge for a moment before handing it back to you. Well, I looks hungry. If I'm looking hungry at anything, if I'm going to look hungry at basically anything, it's definitely not going to be a book, I think. You can't eat a book after all. I have made a decision. What decision? I will let you into the academy on one condition. Oh, do you want my um, lexicon? Oh, wait. Show me just what this lexicon of yours can do. Okay. And <laughs> all right, I think I did not mention this just now, but I love the pixel art that they use in this game. I think this game is definitely going to be using pixel art, yes. But I love how just from this pixel art, you can see that Elementine is somehow like Maybe like a wizard, I think like a wizard that thinks highly of himself 
And he also looks quite cocky as well. I think. But, okay. Prove to me it's safety. And that you can be trusted. Grobbling. Sir, if you are going to call me anything um, other than Leximan, I think you can call me Griblin. Just change the root to Re, I think. Oh. That is a nice transition. Alright, although I think the audio is quite loud for this game. But, okay, Principal Elementine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, this ought to be a simple task. Have a go at... Huh? Elementine is interrupted as countless words, fragments, and letters spill out from your lexicon. Okay, Leximin. Oh yeah, that's me. That's us. Now, see if you can control them. Oh, oh, wait. You begin to grab and drag word fragments to create some kind of word. Alright. Oh, I have to drag them? Fire, fire, right? I think I get the gameplay. I think I get how the battle system is going to work in this game. Yes, basically we are going to have to form words. That actually is going to make sense. So that we can cast them at the enemy, at the person that we are facing with, we are facing on. Or maybe later down the road, maybe against creatures as well. Alright. But, alright, let's cast this fire. Mm -hmm. Oh. Wheeling the two fragments together, the lexicon spits. I like the word choice in here. Spits out a weak flare of orange flame between you and the elementine. Okay. The rain puts it out before it can spread. Elementine blinks in surprise. Oh, so our main kick, yes, our fire. It does not exactly connect with the elementine, with the principle, because of the heavy rain that we are having right now. But I do hope that is sufficient enough to make him impress with us. I see. Mm hmm. You combine word fragments and it makes a kind of effect. How interesting! That's also what's going on in my mind when I realize what this game is going to be about. However... <gasps> Wait, huh? Huh? Wait, however, as Elementine marvels at your spell, alright? Marvels, that's a good way to tell the people, tell the player who is your publisher as well. Marvels Europe. A small creature pushes past you and begins beating at Elementine's legs with its feast. What is that creature? Alright. What? That's not fair. My words aren't ready yet. Okay, if your words are ready, I guess it's time for me to use my words. Alright. Despite squealing at the weak kids like a whim. 
who is writing all this dialogue? I love the dialogue that they have in this game. So far, Elementine stands his crown. Don't just stand there grappling. Do something, please. It might break into the academy. And if you take a look, Leximens now has an expression. <laughs> <laughs> and he actually looks like like he is panicking and I love that All right, you prepare a new spell With your with your word fragments in case the creature has you in its sight next. Okay, it is our time Let's prepare a new spell All right, um, oh thunder Okay Here we go thunder Oh, I love the music so much. All right, and <laughs> oh my god, I love the battle music though. I thought this is going to be a relaxing one, but I guess this is going to be a vibing one. But yes, a sonic rumbling loudly sounds from your lexicon, causing the creature to jump in alarm. Combo attack! Huh? Some Exus Air. Excellent Heaven Bolt. Oh. That is so cool. Elementine frowns, dusting off his long, now bruised legs. All right. Had it totally under control, just needed a little time to... <laughs> what? Don't look at me like that. Oh, all right. You help a lot. Thank you. Yes, everyone, don't forget to always say thank you, to always say thank you to everyone, anyone who has kindly offered to help you. Especially for those that help you to get through life's obstacles. Don't forget to always say thank you. And yeah, come inside, Leximan. <laughs> I will look past the lack of invitation. It's freezing and dangerous out here for a child. Alright, let's get inside. Oh, I think it's our time to move around. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, look at us. We are so cute. Can I access menu? Alright. Oh, there is settings and invocation. Oh, they have a list, I guess, for the spells that we can use. Repel, mm -hmm. causes a right mess. And then we also have fire. Yes, we unlock that just now from the story. Sometimes burn things. But I wonder how about the thunder? Because we do use thunder just now as well. And oh, what is those words that are flying on the screen? Act? Yes. Word spoken when. Lexi spells cast too. Oh, this is very cool. This is a cool looking menu. Oh my god, I love this. Alright. And wait, let's see. Oh, we are walking pretty fast. What is this? You contemplate the tree stump. Huh? Is there something white shining in there? I think so. You rummage around a bit. Whatever is in there seems stuck pretty fast. And yeah, right now I'm actually using my keyboard 
because oh I can't get anywhere else okay they are blocking me to go all right I think this is as far as the area that we can explore that we can go at this moment all right and I'm guessing this is the academy although it looks more like a wizard tower if you ask me but yeah let's talk to Leximan then all right enough dawdling let's go inside my custom robes <laughs> will be ruined in this fall weather all right and oh cutscene frozen press fix in the bottom left of the pause menu is it frozen no it's not frozen but that is something that we need to take into consideration next time if we face a cutscene that is frozen and please wipe those muddy boots outside <laughs> all right okay let's follow after oh this looks really cool welcome to the academy Oh. oh my gosh Here mm -hmm, We train all sorts of mar medical arts I'm so sorry I was about to say that as martial arts Under many tutors You can tell a student's tutor from their head Oh So you were telling me that if a tutor has a specific student then that student will wear the same hat because I do notice that this guy right here this person right here I think there are several people in this hall as well that wears the same hat as him like this guy and this guy this guy I think this guy also qualifies I think And <laughs> I am the most fabulous of such tutors, Principal Elementine with a specialty in elemental excellency. And for those of you who cannot figure out what is his specialty way, way before, uh, from before, from before he introduced himself to us right now, I guess you need to pay more attention to his name. His name is Elementine. He is not going to have a specialty in physical battle, I guess. But you don't have the talent to be one of my pupils. And we don't want to, I think. In fact, I don't know who could teach you. Your magic is simply... Bizarre? And kind of awful. <laughs> and thanks, alright. Sorry. Or we could choose to stay silent if you want to maybe show off a little bit of your emo personality. Or we can also mock him because we do are the one who save him. Who saved his legs from being punched by that creature that we just met outside. But personally, I will go with thanks. Yes, that is a compliment. In my dictionary, in my lexicon, yes, it is a compliment. Huh? That wasn't supposed to be, um... I know, I know. <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> Go and find yourself a hat, Leximan. I mean, a Groblin. Then we can get started settling you in, alright? I wonder why this Elementine really tries to call us as Groblin? Call us Leximan. That's our name. And... 
Oh, I think we finally gained control. Ah, yeah. Okay. So we gained control of ourselves again. And we can go and basically... Oh! Excuse me, I did not mean to. I didn't know... Oh! I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, I definitely like this game. <laughs> I like this game. I like this game already. Wait, does that mean that I can kick this one as well? Oh my gosh, I love this game. <laughs> and there is some... I think it's a stair that will take you to the basement, I'm guessing. Alright. And I shall make sure that I did not crash into any more desk. Alright. Because I have seen that apparently I can kick them far, far, far away. Alright, and there are so many people in this hallway. And I have to choose one of them to become my tutor. Or try to find one that is willing to take me in. And have me as a student of oh, so many people in this hallway. Alright, let's go. Oh, wow! Who is that? He just... I'm not sure if I can say that flying or floating. But he was floating really fast and then even go through this wall, I think. That is really cool. Alright, let's talk to these two first. I think they are guarding the door, I think. Yeah, a stoic battle wizard. Guards the door stoically. <laughs> and this one. A determined battle wizard guards the door determinedly. I love the dialogue in this game. I love how <laughs> sometimes it could be just trick of pun, or sometimes it could be like a total plot twist. Of things and yeah maybe let's talk to you all right who are you wait you are a student greetings look like principal Alamantine is being well himself as usual I thought he was a teacher and not a student this person right here is there anything I can help you with? Um, anything she can help with? Okay. Um, maybe ask about where am I? Yes. This is the Academy Elementinia. The smallest of the seven towers. Oh... Okay, so I was right. We are actually in a magic tower. You know, those kind of place that usually people would say, yes, that's where they put wizard and witch together. But this tower apparently is the smallest one. And that actually makes me wonder if maybe later in the game, we will have the chance to explore the other towers. The other six towers? Hmm. That is something that I would look forward to find out. And most people study under Principal Elementine and mostly focus on traditional elemental magic. But no one will ever be as good as him. Why? Why is that? 
As such, we have lots of other magic and tutorials open for students to try. Okay. So, maybe it's like a side class? I forgot what is the name of such classes. Oh, maybe like extra class, I think? Extra magic to learn? Mm, okay, let's learn more from him. Yes, hello again. I need to ask you more things at the moment. Um, how did I get here? <laughs> I know that it's not actually a suitable question to ask, but I just want to know what is... Well, her answer is going to be... Um, you don't remember? You must have been teleported here, surely? I can't see how someone so young would possibly get through the dangerous high magic zone. Is there no train option? I thought that we were going to go by train. You know, Hogwarts thingy. Always with a train. And the platform 934. Mm -hmm. Despite her attempts to help, it does not jog your memory. How you get here remains a mystery to you and us. We also don't know why and how we get here. Alright, and let's ask one last question. Yes, I think it's regarding the Elementine. Mm -hmm. Why is Elementine so mean? Alright. He's like that with everyone on a bad day. With new regulations popping up for academies. He's been very busy. The academy has had a lot of issues in the past, so he is very strict when it comes to strange arrivals like you. Okay, issues. Something that we need to remember. Alright, I think that's all that we can ask from her. Thank you for your time, ma'am. And should I try talking to Elementine? Yes, Elementine. Somehow my tongue wants to answer it as Clementine, wants to say it as Clementine. But right now, I'm holding back and trying to say it as Elementine. Yes, did I not make myself clear? Go and find yourself a hat. And for goodness sake... Why does he rate me so well? Don't steal another student's... Or mine. <laughs> I don't want to steal yours, sir. But other student? Might be. That might be the case. Alright, there are hmm, three people in here. And what is this? Oh, wait. Um, a cocky mid-grade student with a sword on his back proudly boasts under the light of his magic lantern. Um, oh, I like it. Thank you for putting the dialogue up here. I feel bad already because I know I'm going to be blocking the dialogue. I wish there is a way for me to move the dialogue upwards. But yeah, I snuck north into the city one time. It was crazy. They have their own like anti-magic police. And if you get caught wearing a wizard rope and hat, sheesh. <laughs> Not that I would know, though. I never get caught. This is the red flag. If you are watching, I think a lot of anime, a lot of movies, playing a lot of games. I think by now, you will notice there are several words, there are several sentences that if you mention it, most likely you are going to jinx it. 
I never get caught. Be careful on your next outing, cocky student. But okay, I can't talk to him, so maybe I'll talk to the other that are listening to him. Next time. Huh? I'm gonna see if I can sneak into wizard prison. Do we have Azkaban in here? Hmm? No? What about you? Yeah, what about you? Can I talk to you? No? Alright, so I can't talk to the other two that are listening to him. I can just listen to this cocky guy boasting that he's going to break into Azkaban, but make it like Simen. Alright. What is that? What is this thing? What is this? I... I wanna know what is this though oh. I don't know anything You guys also see nothing, alright? There is nothing Nothing. You saw nothing. Alright? Close your eyes. Forget that you ever know there is something lying in the middle of this red carpet. Okay? You saw nothing. We did nothing. Alright. And there are two guys in here. Okay? They're actually looking like they're having a very lively conversation. Oh, upbeat student. Wow, a kid. Wait, am I really that short? Am I really looking like such a kid that people keep calling me like kid, kid, kid? I'm tall, and I'm an adult. Okay, you came out of the wild magic zone alive. Hey, don't speak to them. They might be so polluted with magic and curses that they will explode. What am I? A bomb? I'm a kid, not a bomb. Yeah, I ain't scared. When I know awesome magic, I want to go out there someday and explode things. And get eaten by a bog troll. Probably. You know, for being such a weary student, he does live up to his name. But to say like, yeah, you are probably going to get eaten by a creature. I think, upbeat student, you need to select your friends carefully. A friend should not wish for your death, no matter how weary they are. Alright, and let's see. Oh, there is. Who are you? Oh, new student. Alright. New to the academy, too, huh? I am. I was lucky enough to get a back alley teleportation deal. Barely anyone makes it through the forest surrounding the tower. You must be a super powerful kid genius, right? How about my luck? How about no one ask about my luck? I think it might be because I'm lucky. Yes, not because I'm a genius. And... Wait, you must be super powerful, alright? Okay. I feel like this game is giving me more and more questions that sounds a lot like a personality test but makes it wild. So for the first choice, we have I'm pretty good. Basically admitting that, well, you are not that powerful but you are powerful at the same time. Or we could be like, I had to eat a shoe to survive. And I'm not sure if I will go with this choice because right now we are looking like someone with a full cloak from head to toe 
And I can't see my shoes, so I cannot verify whether or not we are actually eating a shoe to survive. And I can't do magic, which is definitely not a lie, because our magic is different. It has a different form, but I think it is magic all the same. And the last one is actually the option that I will go with. Cough and writh on the floor. I like the drama. Let's play the drama. <laughs> they stare at you as you splatter and squirm on the floor like a dying sea brim, backing off nervously. Thank you. Thank you for leaving me alone. Now I can <laughs> go back, yes, to my task, which is talking to these people and trying to get myself a hat, yes. And also, my opinion of this game so far, I definitely love the concept of forming words to attack, yes, collecting words. Collecting alphabets, I think, and then making it into words for us to be able to attack and we are also have quite a lot of lively dialogue i love all of them how they well <laughs> almost all of the dialogue that we have had so far in my opinion is very funny all right a peaceful student quietly molds wax into candles using a simple one Alright, he does look peaceful, too peaceful even for this game, and we can't talk to the student, so let's leave him be with his letter, and I wonder if that floating guy will pass by here again? I really want to talk to that floating guy. Is he actually a wizard? Like a student or a teacher, or is he just a ghost? I think he is a ghost. I think we can't talk to that one. I mean, in Harry Potter as well, they will have like ghosts floating, like ghosts flying by in the hallway, in the great big hall that they used to eat together. So I think that's a ghost, yeah. And hello, can I talk to you too? Alright, tall students. Oh, I don't like this guy immediately. I don't like him. Just from the name, tall student. Like, I don't like that one. I don't like this guy already. So, I was thinking, petition for a new class. Hat magic. Because everybody keeps losing their hats. Keeps losing their hats? Well, the principal does told me to not steal, but the principal does not mention about picking up lost hats, right? So maybe that's how we can get our hats? In Matty Menser. What is Matty Manser? Preposterous. I like using that word as well. We are running out of classrooms nowadays. That will never fly. Would it? <laughs> we literally have classes for cotton candy magic. And there is also magic for bathroom cleaning. Isn't there something to do with potatoes? Please don't tell me that you also have a class for tax magic on how to fill out tax form. The magic to be able to fill out tax form without you touching the paper itself, maybe? Good point. Well, go and ask Principal Almentine when he is not so busy. Oh, the poor man rarely gets a break nowadays. Wait, he's actually a real principal? Like a principal that is actually working and doing his job? 
and actually very skillful at what he is doing? I might have ditched him too fast. And yes, they seem to deep in discussion to notice you. We can't ask for hats from them. Oh. I'm sorry. I forgot that I can knock things off just by smashing my way through them. And... Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? I bet you guys saw that. That hat lying in the middle of the carpet please don't tell me that is going to be my hat i will love i will definitely love if this is going to be our feature hat but for now let's stay clear of the hats and talk to other people baffle jr What's the deal with crystals? Where do they come from? Why do we use them for like everything? But what do you want to use anyway? If you're not using crystals? I hear the other towers have electricity with actual rules that make sense. You want to use electricity and you don't want to use crystals anymore So you want this tower to be turned into Steel Wakes the Deep Horror game I'm guessing And They do look kind of cool though Alright Okay, that's all of the conversation that I can have Oh yeah, and there is one guy as well that was passing through us just now. I actually want to see if maybe we can stop him and talk to him. Or he's just going to go past Drake us. Yes, Drake pass at us. Okay, that actually answers our question. So maybe he is a ghost? Maybe? Or maybe he has something else? I'm also not sure. Alright, and uh, let's see, okay, there are three guys in here, wait, huh? This one of them looks like they don't even wear top, like they don't even wear anything. Let me talk to them. Okay, some kind of muscle wizard. I was right. That guy did not wear any clothes to cover his upper part of body. And yeah, some kind of muscle wizard is smugly showing off their hard work. Alright, and that is all that we can get from him, I'm guessing. And... So, there are hats hanging up here. They are covered in soot, ash, and weird slime. Oh, so we can't use that. Okay, get it. Alright, and there is nothing else to check onto. And, oh, I thought that was a map. A poster advertising the wonders of the four elements. It also proudly displays the academy is free of charge to those banned from city life. Wait, you can live here for free? As long as you are banned from living in the city? What kind of law is that? Oh, I like that. And... Wait, let me check this side. Alright. We already talked to this one right here, but this one... Yes, I think we haven't talked to this one, so let's talk to her. An old woman... Peacefully studies the ancient arts of cosmic destruction... <laughs> for educational purpose. 
For a second, I thought she wants to make like a new Big Bang, literally. But they say it for educational purpose, and I guess we will just have to trust the developer's words on this. Alright, let's leave her with her new cosmic destruction plan. And let's talk with these two. Two pointy-eared wizards vigorously talk about how much they love... Wait, no. How much they hate. The surrounding forests. And to top it all off, if we could harvest that wood, we would be millionaires. Okay. True. So true. Stupid magical contamination. Oh, so they want to actually take a walk and maybe get some resources from the wood, but unfortunately the magical contamination prevented them from doing so. I see. Okay, there are a lot of people here and well, I can say with a lot of different personality as well, different tendency, different area of studies. I like that. Although I have to be honest with you, so far, I think only Clementine, the principal, principal Clark, it's not Clementine, Clementine. See, see, <laughs> forgive me. It is night time. My brain does not function as good as it is when it is well afternoon time. But yes, I think the only one with a name so far. Like a name that we can definitely call and identify him with is Principal Elementine. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, and here is the hat. A hat with a large L. I do hope it doesn't mean loser, but more of a Laximan. Sits on the ground before you. I knew it. I knew we have to pick that up. <laughs> Alright, let's pick that one up. Let's pick the head up. Okay. Yes, there is a wizard's hat on the floor here. A large L <laughs> is stitched on it with white thread. L as in lexicon? Alright, oh. Wait, we are given a chance to choose? Pick up the hat, yes or no. Oh, that is quite tricky, actually. But you know that will not deter me at all. If they ask if they can pick up the hat, if we should pick up the hat or no, I believe that my curiosity will immediately gets me to pick up the hat first and then maybe put it down later but for now let's pick up the hat oh as you hold the hat in your hands a warm sensation washes over you a sense of belonging you belong with me. Taylor Swift song. A sense of home. Ah, that hat definitely belongs to us. Huh? A month passes. Huh? Wait, 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 we are time skipping? <laughs> we are time skipping immediately to one month later? That was fast. Alright, yes, um, what's wrong, Principal Elementine? Leximan, I know you are still relatively new, but this is getting ridiculous. Your magic has caused... 
Huh? Three? Glass orange emergencies for this tower? And I have lost count of how many glass yellow emergencies. What is that? Orange? Yellow? Um, are you okay, sir? Elementine Sykes? And... Alright, we call this section of the Tower Rainbow Junction. Well, it's more like... It's reminding me of that horror game. Garden of Ben Ben, I think. It's for practicing the very basics of magic. Follow the carpets, complete the basic magic test, and for the love of Merlin, do not make me come and talk to you again. Um, okay, sir. Alright. I don't know what happened in those one months, but I guess we are making quite a name for ourselves. This is your last chance. Um, um, <laughs> all right, I guess. Although, wait, is it auto saving right now? Let me check. Load game. Wait, no, 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 no. I haven't saved. So how do I save, actually? Where do I save? Can I save on you? No? What... what is this? Mm. Oh, someone left the scroll of strength here. Scroll of enlarge. Looks like it doesn't do anything, but makes you bigger and a little stronger. Oh... Overworld spell and large unlock. That is cool. Oops, I'm so sorry. I forgot. I'm. I guess us. I guess we still don't have maybe like a good relationship with chairs and desk in general. In oh my god, there are so many things to look at. That oh, I I'm sorry, but I'm looking for. A safe button? Are you a safe button? I don't know, I just saw a notepad and thought that maybe I could save in here. It's a notepad, you think about scribbling something in it. Ah, there we go. Okay, we get safe in here. Nice. Let me save in here. Rainbow Junction. Alright. And... Okay, um, well added. Okay, let me save again. Alright. Yes, I can actually do multiple save. That is nice. Alright. And actually, wait, let me BRB and make myself a Milo. I need something to hydrate myself, so... I'll be back with Milo and water. Okay. I'm back with... <laughs> Milo, yes, and some water. I actually have mouth ulcer right now, so it's a bit painful for me to talk. And that's why I'm also like talking very slowly. I know it might not be suitable for this kind of game, especially with how the music sounds right now. But I do hope that you guys can bear with me. And... oh, oh, no. And... oh, wait, no entry. Yeah, there is some... Um, a room, yes. Whoever boarded up this room really doesn't want anyone to go in. Honestly, it looks like a fire hazard. Alright, and there is nothing I can do. Oh, but we have a cauldron in here. But that room though, I mean... That room also has the book. The book that is we are using... The book that we are using as a save point. 
I think so. All right, there is one quite suspicious room, and oh, I am so sorry. I oh my god, I didn't mean to basically kick everything around, but somehow I just keep oh god crashing into them. But yeah, who are you? Mysterious Gremlin. Huh. This mysterious little wizard licks a pointed black claw before turning a page. It blinks its eyes over to meet yours in an unsettling manner. Mm. You know, um, I think I might have made a mistake on playing this at such a very late time. It's October, it's a spooky month, and I know that everyone out there is like streaming, playing horror game, there are a lot of horror games being released. I actually also have my hands full <laughs> watching a lot of horror games, especially like horror gameplay videos that are going around YouTube at this time of the month. But I do not have any plan to play a horror game in this spooky month. I don't have that plan. And right now, I feel like I might have accidentally warmed my way into one of those spooky games. I hope not. I hope I'm mistaken, but... <sighs> okay... It silently stares at you until you leave. I, I will leave. I will leave. I am so sorry. I will definitely leave. Alright, and... Oh wait, we can take a look at this one. Alright, a dusty bookshelf. Let's see what we have here. Um... Eh? Eh? 665 facts about ritual summoning that you would not believe. Is this tower even safe? Can we even do a ritual summoning? Skimming through it, you feel disappointed to learn that most of the facts, alright, quote and quote facts, just happen to be predictable truths. Tag at the end of the book is an interesting warning though. And they colored it with red. That's even more scary. Never attempt to contact Zubagat. Zubagat? Zubagat? I am so sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that one. But alright, yes, Zubagat, 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 Zubagat. I will try to remember that name. No summoning anything that starts with Z, okay? No summoning anything that definitely starts with Z. Got it, got it. And... Okay, there are so many things in this room that I definitely want to take a look at first. But most of all, the one that I find very peculiar while we are going around the room is how our character moves, alright? Look. <laughs> I love how our character looks when they're walking. There, there. Look, look. Like, he looks very small. And he looks like those kids that would go at the night of Halloween. They would go to houses after houses with pumpkin and then they will ask for a trick or treat, yeah. I like I like the design. It's so adorable. The way he moves especially. <laughs> it's hard not to miss. And 
okay, we have a mop in here and we do have several posters, but I don't think I can do anything against those. Yeah, there are several potions as well cluttered around. Wait, I can knock down plants as well? Oh my god, I'm very dangerous. I have to be careful with the way I'm walking, definitely. Let's inspect this mop first. This is just an ordinary mop. Alright. I swear. Huh? Developers, did you just swear on me? I swear. <laughs> just a normal mop. Um. Uh, okay, if you say so, developer, we will trust you. I will trust you. It's just a normal mop. That's what they say. Alright, and there are also, I think, a wizard's hat on top of this bookshelf, but we can't get that one. Alright. But yeah, I don't think I have told you this before, but I'm also a huge fan of games that Marvelous Europe has released. I played Cuisineer before, and that is also, I think that's a very cozy and comfy, roguelike rogu kind of games and I definitely had such a fun time playing that maybe the downside of playing that is just never play that when you are hungry because when you are playing that, you will be like extremely hungry because it has so many delicious food in there and definitely one of the game that I think I would love to make a cozy and relaxing long play video as well, Cuisineer. And also we have <coughs> Rune Factory. I think by now everyone knows Rune Factory, Marvelous Europe. I personally have never tried Rune Factory, but I do hope that I can give it a try. I would love to play and finish the game. I would love to play and see the full game, like experience the game from the start until finish. And now, actually, I start to really, really like this game. I think this game is very brilliant in the way that they decided how to dish out their battle system. Alright, although we definitely have to experience more battle to get a feel of how this battle system is going and maybe how this battle system is going to get progressively harder as we go through the game oh there is a poster? wait this is a poster of an extremely fabulous wizard with an intense stare and a powerful smirk I think I know what is that one. I think I know who is that. That's a president... Not president, Principal Alamantine, right? This poster has a smug <laughs> aura. It's kind of insufferable. Alright. That reminds me actually of a trend that is going around Twitter X recently. There is a website that lets you to... I think submit your name and then and in exchange they will tell you what kind of aura that you have i remember i think i saw several of my mutuals were playing that game well it's not exactly a game it's just like a website that tells you what aura you have that's just kind of for fun but you know the smug aura those kind of aura that definitely reminds me of that trend and I'm actually very curious, so I might try that trend as well later. And what is this jar? It's a strawberry jar, right? Not. It's not like it's going to be blood, right? Yes, it's a gem. Someone has left a large jar of gem out in the corridor. Alright, so that is a pool of gem, right? Not a pool of blood, right? <laughs> right? And okay, I think we already explored everything in this room. 
It does bother me that there are doors with their respective colors like blue door, green door, and then there is also orange door, red doors, but I think for now the only thing that we can do is just going to this door right here. Yes, that has a sign like number one. I think we should enter this place. And honestly, being in the same place as this one, as this creature over there kinda unsettles me. So yeah, let's leave this place. Alright, where are we? A fantastic portal swirls here. Oh, that's a portal. Okay. Portical. Wait, it can speak? You? Yes, me. Are you ready to demonstrate your portaling prowess? Am I? What am I doing? Come on now, Laximan. You even know my name? Are you sure you are not a creepy portal? I won't bite. You have absolutely nothing to worry about. That is definitely something that someone suspicious will say to me. Or like a suspicious portal will say to me. Portal travel is entirely safe unless those entering said portal are inexplicably powerful beings of magic. I mean... I'm a vampire. I was supposed to be a powerful being of magic. I might look like this and act like this, but... I'm good. I'm a powerful being of magic, you know? Did you guys trust me? <laughs> and I highly doubt you were one of those. Talk to my big hat, okay? So, I just go through that, and actually it moved automatically, I just had my hand on my mouse for clicking things. I do not exactly have my hands on the keyboard, so if you see this character moving, that is definitely not me, unless I say that's me moving the Laximan. And you won't only need to walk to pass through these portal rooms, in addition, oh my god. I keep hitting things on my desk. I am so sorry. You can hold shift. Oh, okay. Let me practice on that. To sprint around like a little rattling. You can also press R to fire a power blast with your brain power. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, that is my reaction as well. What? Oh, okay, we are starting. Alright, the game music is already back into play. So, share for rolling. Um, oh, for moving faster. And then R. Oh. Yeah, that, that doesn't look like a brain power. That looks more like a brain that gets too overwork. That gets too much things going on. And then they decided to give up on working altogether. That actually looks like one of those brain not braining moments. Yep, that one. That doesn't look like a brain... Th that looks more like a brain not braining moment, yes. Let me hydrate. <clears throat> Alright. And... Yeah, let me take a look at this bookcase. Yes. There are... Surprisingly, large number of books here that discuss the complex arcane calculations needed to visit the endless sea of tea? 
Oh, I am jealous. Do they have endless sea of coffee as well? I'm an avid drinker of coffee. Just so you guys know. But I also love tea. But I think I am much more on the... Maybe like apple tea, lucky tea, those kind of fruity tea. Something about needing a material teapot. That's not fair. I want endless sea of coffee, endless sea of soda, endless sea of milk also sounds good, also sounds delicious. Alright, and there is another poster. <laughs> Why are there so many elements in poster? What is that thing? Wait, can you guys see that? I'm pretty sure you guys can see that above my hat. There... There... I don't know what is that. It's moving. It's like a figure. Like a statue. It's moving around. Okay. Alright. So, where should we go now? Mm, this way. I'm guessing this way. Although... Yeah, let me use R again. Yep, definitely does not look like a brain power. <laughs> it looks more like a brain not braining moment. Okay. And okay, shift. Hold to sprint and go faster. Alright, but oh I see some things in here though. This potato has a wizard hat. Oh, that's a potato. In my eyes, it looks more like a fish. Does that make it a wizard? <gasps> oh, Star Chicos. Potato wizard. <laughs> yes, I am a wizard. Nice to meet you, wizard. Um... Okay then, moving on. Yes, nice to meet you. I actually want to interact with this duck in here. There's like a toy duck on top of the table as well. So I want to get this duck, but apparently I cannot interact with that. I can only interact with the star chicos. But yeah, nice to meet you star chicos. And let me move on. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is the thing that I'm talking about. Oh, do I have to run really fast against them? Wait. Okay. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, wait. Um. I think I should just run when they are like this, though. Yep. Alright. And... Oh my god, what is this place? Why do we have multiple duck in a circle? And I don't even know what are they are circling at? What is it that they are circling onto? What is this? It's a bathtub? Why is there a bathtub here? That is also my question. Why do we have a bathtub? In the middle of nowhere with um, a rat smoke coming out of it and the water well looks like pitch black from here looks like you were disturbing some sort of ritual as you poke around here did, did we just summon an evil duck I think the final wisp of a spell drift up from the base of the top with an ominous squeak. Alright. Perhaps this was for the greater good. See? Who knows what those evil ducks were up to. Oh, I should not have hit them. I'm so sorry. I should not have interrupted your ritual. Oh... I, I blame my sturdy buddy. I blame the sturdy buddy that Leximan has. That every time he crash onto things, those things will immediately get repelled back from him. But... Okay, so we have multiple roads in here. I think we come from this way. 
And to be honest, I don't know where I should go now. Yes, the bathtub lays dormant and empty of magic. Yes, I stopped the ritual. But what now? Where should I go? Maybe the opposite way? Yeah, let's go in here first. Oh, labyrinth. Okay. Let's see what? Huh? Is that you? Is that me? Laximin's clones. <laughs> So we have Kagebunshi now, interesting. Freedom, free from the singular singularity of the simple single being. Freedom. That is also the name of one of my friend, one of my online friend. That is his <laughs> username in some games. And... Huh... The two clones rush for the door and escape into the tower where you hear them smashing into books and chairs. That doesn't sound good. That definitely doesn't sound good. This... <laughs> this is probably fine. Yes, this is fine. And that, I guess, will remind you guys of that sticker that emotes of someone... Well, I think the closest way for me to explain it would be, if you guys know, the GIF, the moving image, where there is a dog sitting on a chair, and there is like a cup of... I don't know what cup, like what is inside that cup. But he's sitting on a chair, there is a desk beside it, and there is a cup, there is a mug on top of that table, and then he's surrounded with fire. And I think if you are using it on Discord, you can also see the words, this is fine, written on the image. But, okay, that, this is fine, yeah? Although, what is that? Excuse me, let me check this one. A theoretical diagram of how one might use portal magic to bake a cake. Step <laughs> one. You know, for a second, I was taking it seriously. For a second, I was like, so you were going to use portal magic as a mixer because the portal does, they do look like they're swirling. But then, step one, yes, open portal to bakery. Alright, I was being serious for nothing, I see. Step two, steal cake. Actually, I think I might like this step much better than the one that I was thinking about. But, alright, there we go. Oh, there is a hat. Yeah, a boring plain old hat. <laughs> Nowhere near as cool as yours. People often call you a loser because of it, but they're just jealous yours is unique. Oh, because the L, because of the L word that we have on our head, I think. And what about this one? Okay, I cannot interact with that one. Alright. And this one? No. I cannot do anything? Oh, I can! Alright. This giant potion has a tiny label attached to it. Superior healing potion 200 times diluted. Why there is such a powerful potion in here though? Recommended serving one teacup. Alright. I don't know who owns that potion, but they better take it before I'm taking it for myself. Alright, let's go this way. Eh. Oh, um... Oh my gosh. Is that... Oh my god. Oh my gosh, that's because of me, isn't it? That's my clone. Isn't it? Oh no. Um, can I pick them up? Can I make them go back? 
Your hand slips straight off the clone's slippery and slimy skin. <laughs> Ew, cross. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, they make such a mess of the hallway. Of the rainbow... What is it called again? Alright, let me just save. And I'll also take a look at this. Rainbow Junction. Alright, here we go. And... Oh my god, they are definitely... Oh my god, making such a mess. Oh, who are you? I think you're new. This tall man is Grumble. Grumble. Bramble. Something silly, anyway. He is the master of warding magic at the tower. <laughs> you know, the, the name of the NPC. Oh my god, developer, you have such... <laughs> nice humor. Okay, look, Leximan, whatever it is you did with this clone thing, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't you think I should be worrying about that? I mean, that's my clone. That's <laughs> that's a part of me. I'm the cause of that, I think. Well, at least not me, but Leximan. He gives a tired psych. I will deal with it. Just get to your next class. Alright, thank you. Thank you, sir. You are such an angel. You are such a savior. You are such a blessing. Let me go this way. Alright. Oh my gosh. What's next? Where are we? Oh, wait. What is this? What is this thing glowing? A fresh helping of foodium. It makes your mouth water. <laughs> foodium. Alright. Oh, there is also... Yes, does the professor lift? Professor Valerie. Oh, I think that's her. The tiny professor gives you a dainty wave. Alright. And... Oh, there is a saving icon in here. I can save, alright? Alright. Yeah, I think I will just save in here. But let's make a second file just to be safe. And... Oh, it's called Summoner Room. This place is a Summoner Room. Alright, more reason to save then. And who are you? Yes, this disheveled conjurer waves at you in the room, gesturing over to a neat-looking summoning circle. Greetings, little cherub. Yes, this is Professor Valerie. Come to learn how to summon a... A what? A cow? Or perhaps... Is there a dragon as an option? Or maybe a duck? Dark Dragon, I don't mind both of them. You have come to learn the underlying nature of how our cosmic law works in relation to unquantifiable magic that can transport any living, dead, or suggested matter into the present with just a few simple incantations. Alright, that was quite long. Or... Uh, no? Right. Well, let's just start with the basics then. To summon something... Alright, press enter or W. Okay, enter or W. And summon something near the circles by entering the name of the creature you wish to conjure there. And how do I get those names? How do I get the name of the creature that I want to summon? Look around and find some lovely things to summon. I'm sure I wrote something down around here. Alright. 
So I need to find notes about what I can summon and what I cannot summon. Alright, Foodium. Alright, I'm not sure why do we have a food over there, but let's see. Mm. Oh, Invocation Mode. Alright, type a desired word. Then hit enter or Y again. Try typing Ko here. Alright, a large Ko has been drowned on this board. So, how do I type there? Ko? Where, where should I type? Enter. <gasps> so cool. That is really cool. Wait, can I try another thing? Duck, maybe? No? I cannot summon duck. How about... Dragon? I cannot summon dragon? <laughs> I'm sorry, I know that the game told me to summon cow, but I wanna try, alright? A girl has the right to try. A player has the right to try. So let me try, okay? See... Can. Okay, still can't. How about a crow? It's a crow with an R. Alright, nope. It doesn't work as well. Oh, maybe I should stand on top. Oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry. I was wrong. Yeah, I should stand on here, no? Let's try one more time. Duck. Okay, still doesn't work. I guess we have to go along with the developer's whim. We will summon a call. Here we go. Oh, that's a real living, breathing, moving cow. <laughs> Moo! Alright, nice to meet you, Ko. Um, Cow, I'm sorry to bring you here with me, but please stay there because I need to... Wait, do I need to do something with this Ko? Cow? No? Alright. And, yep. Okay, there's nothing I can do with the Cow. So, let me just move on to the next summoning circle. So many almondines everywhere you go. Alright, hang on, hang on over there, Lexi man. And there's a new one. Let me see. If you see a blue glow whilst in invocation mode, you can trigger a nearby effect by typing a certain word. How does that work? Someone has to face this blackboard with a glowing script. Fire? You mean I have to summon fire? And I actually don't need to click. Yes, I can always just type it and enter again. Oh, there we go. Alright, fire. Coal, fire, alright. And then there is... Oh, another mop. Is it time to mop? <laughs> no? Okay. Sadness. Developer, do you have some kind of... A liking of a special feeling towards mop? And then, okay. Some overworld spells can be codes or strange names. Look for clues and use your hat. Okay. Under no circumstance ever attempt to contact Zookbugat. Say Zookbugat. Think about Zookbugat. The final scrawling is just a mess of scratches. You barely make out the word Zookbagat beneath the chalk, so... I was supposed to use that? I was supposed to call Zookbagat now? I feel like I'm being scammed right now because I think the last time we hear that name 
it's mentioned that it's forbidden well it's not exactly forbidden but it's more like you should not try to call zupa gap at all let me try zupa gap is that how it is or should i save just in case something might happen well if something does happen at least we get to know what it is that is happening and that means we are going to start over from summoning cow and fire but that's fine all right let's just try to see huh? excuse me <laughs> <laughs> the powerful looking demon cackles and continues his hellish dance. Wait, can I go back actually and talk to Professor Valerie? What have you done? Um, everything is on fire. Yes, I know, I can see it. And is that a greater devil? Um, maybe? I... I can't... <gasps> oh no... Looks like she passed out... Ma'am? Oh, I can't talk to her anymore... But at least we can save in here... Let's save... Alright... Just in case... Just in case that I actually was not supposed to summon Zubagat in here and was supposed to... Summon something else... Alright. And yeah, how about the mop? Mop, are you alright? Mop? Is it time to mop? Um, I'm not sure if it's time to mop, but... Well, if it's another mop, like mopping in sadness, I guess that's true. Alright, I guess I can't interact with this demon, so... Let's just leave it be for now. And what is that? Um, you know, I wasn't scared of Zubagat in the previous room. I wasn't scared with that devil at all. But now, looking at how the duck is glitching multiple times, and and actually, he's he's glitching madly. I'm I'm afraid now. Can I summon fire in here? Your magic senses aren't tingling. Does that mean I can't summon things? Fire? I can, but... Um... Alright, let's tap on... Okay, do not dare to comprehend the duck. I love the developer already. They make a duck a feeling. That's not something that you usually find in a game. So I really appreciate it. Do not dare to comprehend the duck. Oh, I should type that one. Duck. Oh. I think I was right, no? And is there anything else that I can do? No? Do not dare to comprehend the duck. I know, but oh, wrong. Um, excuse me. All right, let me delete that one. Okay. <laughs> what is that? All right. Um, is it just me or is it actually moving even more faster than before? Duck. Is it? Is it even more faster? No? Am I doing this right? I'm... I'm not sure. I think it's time to leave, no? Or... Where should we go? The duck room... Yes, I know... Alright... Can I summon water in here? No, I can't. Okay, alright, alright. Time to leave. 
I wish that I can get some explanation about what is happening right now, but maybe you were supposed to leave this way. Um, yeah, yeah. I think. Oh, yeah, we can't enter that room anymore. So I guess we are done with that one, I think. <laughs> I'm not sure what just happened. And yeah, grumble. And can you just get to class or something? I will handle this again. I am so sorry, Grumble. Not only that you have to deal with my clone, but I think you might have to deal with a greater demon and an evil duck. I think you will do well against the greater demon, in my opinion, Grumble, but against evil duck, no one can stand a chance. No one. The duck is just that powerful, okay? But yeah, let me save again in here. Alright, I have multiple save right now. I do hope I'm doing this right. Like calling Zubagad is the right way to go with this game. But you know, summoning demon that is like a really powerful and greater than a normal demon is supposed to be. It actually reminds me of one of my favorite anime. I have been rewatching that anime a lot. It's Rimuru. Wait, what is this place? Um, this looks like a potion class, maybe? Wait, another poster. Alright. Ah. Uh, <laughs> another elementine. Alright. And there is. Oh, there is a tag on this jar of bubbling yellow liquid. Chlorble Cl the custard elemental. Do not overfeed. Oh, so it's actually moving? It's a living, breathing, moving, living, breathing, moving, working custard elemental? Okay. And we actually have a book as well in here. Mm, and several people that I can talk to. So maybe let's just talk to them first. A group of students are doing a really great job of pretending you do not exist. Huh? Wait, does that mean that Laximin is being bullied? That's Laximin. Don't let him use his book on you or you are done for. Wait, is it me that is being bullied or is it me that is bullying them? Like, is it Laximon that is being bullied or is it Laximon that is actually bullying them? Because they sound so scared of us. They, they are actually talking like in some kind of way, maybe in the past. We have used our books on them. And they are afraid to fill it again, I think. Alright, oh, some... Oh, wait, there is a scroll. Here we go. Is this a scroll of magic missile? Or a scroll of missile magic? What is the difference? Mm. Can I use that? Magic missile? No. Missile magic? No. Alright, I thought I can use that for me, but maybe not. Oh, look at that! The pixelated duck is moving. The duck, the duck, the duck toy, the toy duck is moving around. So cute. And huh? Wait, why do we have this? The plunger. Yeah, why do we have the plunger? For a second, I was thinking about what is this in English. But thank you for the game. Thank you to the game for reminding me. It's a plunger. All wise and sacred plunger of truth. What are your secrets? Oh, wait. <laughs> One must look inward if they are to plunge the depths of the universe. 
for plunging begins with oneself. And he has a very cool name, Sacred Plunger of Truths. Honestly, I'm <laughs> I'm even more impressed with the developer. I am so impressed with the amount of creativity and absurdness that they decided to put in the game. Like how can one even think to Alright, this is a magic classroom. Let's put several potion in here and let's put several chairs, several desks, and maybe a student as well in this room. And you know, I think there is one thing missing from this place. You know what? Yep, the sacred plunger of truths. We are missing that one. And there, that's the result. Alright. Yes, that goes hard. <laughs> Okay, and there is a professor in here, but I think talking with them is going to trigger something, so let me just check everything for now. There is a board in here. This board is covered in basic wizard dwelling practice. It highlights the use of the spell, dispel magic or dispel. I need to remember that. Extremely useful for dealing with small scale magical shields. Okay, oh yeah. I forgot that my mouse, yeah, it likes to double click recently. So that's why sometimes you can see text twice, and that's because my mouse accidentally clicked on the same things twice. So it closes the dialog. Um, the dialogue scene it closes the dialogue and then it triggers the dialogue again but if we are having a dwelling practice all right i think it's safe to say that we need to save all right let me save yep save game let's just save here all right and let's check out yeah let's talk to the person to the professor Fans, okay, fans say fans. Mm -hmm. mm, welcome, little Leximin, to my magnificent lesson on magic missiles. Oh, we are rocket launching people with magic now? Have you come to learn how to cast magic missile? Hmm. I guess so. Yeah. I think so. Alright. The most basic and humble tool in a wizard's repertoire. Alright, I think we are put in a battle right now. I think this is how a battle is going to look like when we are fighting people or a creature. I do hope it's just like a one versus one situation and not like one versus multiple situation later on. I think this man might be a bit unhinged. <laughs> I mean, he teaches battle, he teaches you how to attack your friend using a magic missile. He has to be a bit unhinged in a way. How do I know? Because I'm also a fan of Rocket Launcher. I'm a fan of magic missile, so I know that if you like those kind of things, you have to be a bit unhinged. And best show him how you cast missile. Alright, missile. Yeah, I need to order it. Yeah, I think I need to order it properly so that I can cast them. Alright, missile. You wave your hands about as you start the incantation. And yep, definitely unhinged. You absolute fool. Pathetic unlearned imbecile. I know it. That's not how you cast magic missile. I love the dialogue so much. Now, repeat after me. Magic missile. Time to give this another go. Give it all you have got. 
Okay, magic mi mi missile. Hello. Excuse me, come back here. There we go. Cast. Dear <laughs> magic missile. Your hand starts to shake uncontrollably. Oh. As not when, not to, but a storm of magical missile burst forth. That's actually really cool. Potion bottles explode. And students are bruised. That's not me. Definitely not me as the eldritch sparks fling themselves around the room. You... <laughs> you horrid little monster. This is not magic missile. Wait, it's not? This is chaos. Thank you. Get out. Oh, okay. You think you hear Alamantine shouting angrily as upset students and fans pour out the room to tattle on you. <laughs> Time to scatter while you still can. You should probably go south to see what the fuss is about. Oh. Everyone just left me behind? Alright. Everyone just leave me behind, sure. Yes, magic missile, missile magic. Wait, am I actually pronouncing it wrong? Maybe I'm supposed to say it as missile magic and not magic missile? Maybe? I'm not sure. But let's just save, alright? Just in case we might get exiled, we might get... We might be put into detention and worse, we are going to be exiled from the school. Alright. Let's go. This way. Alright. And... Oh. Is... Oh, are we done with the class? No? Alright. And no, 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 I don't want to save. I want to touch my clone, actually. Yeah. Yes, I still can't touch my clone. And let me talk to you. Alright. Oh, he still has the same dialogue. Okay. And what about you? Alright, he is also still very scary. I think he might come from that no entry corner, maybe. I'm not sure. But where should I go? This way? I should be going this way? Oh, yeah. Alright, let's see. Oh. <laughs> Lexi, man. That's me. Just what do you think you are doing? You know, to be honest with you, I think we are doing pretty good. I mean, I think we are doing it even more than what the standard was supposed to be. We are... Well, we are summoning coal, we learn how to cast fire. We also, well, accidentally, yes, call upon a greater demon. But don't you think that's... Obviously, something that is like higher than the mark. Like you are maybe supposed to summon something else, but then you are just an overachiever. So you summon something that is much more better, much more cooler, and much more evil. Yes, but not much more evil than the evil duck, I think. And... Setting the summoning room on fire? Magic missling students? That's not me. The magic missling students? Creating forbidden clones? Yeah, I also don't know, don't know how can we even ended up with multiple clones. Because personally, that is something that I would love to do. Having multiple clones of yourself. So that you can like have one clone working, like working a job, trying to find more money, 
and then you have one clone trying to play games you have another clone maybe doing something else i love that especially now that i have grown up like before i was looking down at naruto well the anime if you guys know naruto's kagebunshin no jutsu i was like okay that doesn't look like strong and useful but now that I am all grown up and I have like my schedule full with a lot of things I was actually hoping to be able to have a clone of myself as well But yes, alright Do you realize how much of a headache you are? <laughs> Why can't you do anything right? no longer oh is it our time to go out from this place i have given you enough chances the only place you can safely practice your magic is the learner's basement oh so we are no longer in that rainbow junction all right those rainbow path that definitely looks like a kindergarten place but now we are moving into the learner's basement go oh i thought he's going to kick me out he's actually still very kind to me okay <laughs> go the students begin chanting and jeering at you to leave. No, that is so sad. A pit fills your stomach. Oh, that is so sad. I mean, it's not exactly our fault, right? Get out of here, loser wizard! Excuse me, um, student without a name, can you even summon a greater demon? Don't make me Zubaga to you, alright? Is it the right name? I actually forget. Nobody wants your magic ruining everything. Oh, that is so sad. That is really sad. I guess this is the start of our villain arc. Dark, cold, this is sad. Oh, is there someone else in here? Hello? Oh, there are a lot of people in here. Your eyes fully adjust to the like. And oh, flame haired girl. Um, guys, I think there is another one of us now. Oh, we are not alone. Long haired girl. Sadako? He sent another one down. Hello, guys. Nice to meet you. Ah, I'm Rasa. Sorry to hear the stupid principal sent you down here too. Ha! Huh? So cute! It's not as bad down here as people say it is. But it is still pretty bad. <laughs> At least we get rooms and friends. Oh, I love friends. I love friends. Being all like surrounded with friends and not like all alone is definitely... A lovely thing to have. <clears throat> so, don't be too scared, okay? Learners look after each other. Here, this way. I'm I'm sure we have a spare room for you. Alright, wait, um we are not introduced to other people just yet? I want to get to know them. Actually, I'm excited right now. Wait, what is this creature? Is he also one of the learners? How about this room up here? 
It's next to mine. Oh, it's a golem. And uh oh, don't worry about them. That's Gram Grung the golem. They won't hurt you. They just throw us back down <laughs> when we try to leave. Gram Grung protect. Can I summon him? Gram Grung. Right, protect. Anyway, wanna get settled in before dinner? Oh... That is so wholesome, yeah! Though, so, this place... <clears throat> Wait, let me drink for a little bit. Alright. And... Yeah. Though, so, this place scares the young Leximan. It's been a while since you have felt welcome. Ah, uh, this is our new room. Knock, knock, knock. Mm hmm. Oh, that's Ressa. Yes. She is so sweet, though. She's so wholesome. Lexi Man, Lexi Man. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to wake you if you were asleep. But quick, come to my room just below. We only have today. Oh, and make sure none of the Elementine fanboys are following you. This is going to be big. <laughs> oh, you know if you look at her face right now, she actually looks a little bit scary now. And she's laughing evilly. I wonder what plan that she has going on right now. Alright, but let me say first. Alright, let's save in here. Alright. I think we are doing this right. I think we are doing this right. So it's safe to say that we can just save in here for now. Alright, in our room, Leximan's room. And oh, we have a fireplace. Yeah, I want to take a look around my room first. Your fireplace currently unstoked. It's a bit chilly in here. Okay. And this one, yes. A blanket quilted for you. Oh, as a welcome present by Bressa. It's cozy. Oh, she is so nice. She is really nice. And where does this lead to? Oh, bedroom. Alright. But why do we have so many pots in here? Yeah, you flush your toilet. Alright. And... Cupboards of factory produce wonder potions. They taste like stale bread and fike of colds. Literally. There is microscopic soldiers in the potion which go and beat the viruses with their bare hands. Sometimes you can understand why Ressa hates wonder potions so much. So it's what you used to take a bath. Alright, that sounds actually quite scary. And oh the duck! Ducky! Oh, there is a sound. Yeah, they're, they're making a sound. It's subtle, but you can hear it. You can hear them making a sound. Alright. And yeah, I think we already check everything's out. Oh, not yet. Yes, some spear hats of yours. You never got to the mystery of where the original hat, original hat came from. And I think this is our original hat. Me, I'm not sure. But alright, let's go out of this room. And where should we go? Oh, this is the barrier, so we can't go through this. Or else the golem will throw us back in. I think that's what um Ressa is trying to say. Yes, 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 I got <laughs> smack back. Alright. And wait, um, who are you? 
terrified learner? Oh, there is something in the walls. Oh yeah, I can see it actually. There's like a glowing ice inside here. There, you guys can see it, I think. It's cool though. It's like one of those Halloween decoration that you have. And this is Oresa's room. Alright, looks normal. Yep, looks like your Yandere ghost girlfriend kind of room. Yes, Leximen, you made it. Here I am. Listen, I have come up with some potion recipes so we can sneak out the basement. And there, these ones won't dissolve a giant hole in the floor like last time. Probably. I don't have all the ingredients though. If I take my eye off this cauldron for too long, my room is going to look like a slime pit. <laughs> if you could help out, but maybe we could sneak upstairs together? And put rats in stupid elementine socks or something. Alright. But... Okay, um, let me check her bathroom real quick. What is that? A bathtub that is being used to ferment and brew strange mixtures. It smells like licorice and makes you cough. Please don't tell me that she is bathing in that. That she's taking her bath in that. I do hope not. Not, right? Yes, I do hope she doesn't use it to take a bath in there. And yeah, what do you need? Yes, welcome to my room, Leximan. <laughs> Sorry about the mess. The toxic fumes are normal. And... Okay, we have several things that we can ask her. Like, how do we escape again? Potions, why were you sent down here? But, hmm... I think I personally would like to ask why you were... Yeah, why was she sent down here? Alright. It's all those stupid wonder potions fault. <laughs> this is the first time I see her being angry. Just because I mess up making a potion every now and again, Elementin stocked up on cheap factory brew potions. Oh, I think she is a potion prodigy. After Elementin said alchemy was useless, he took away my cauldron club and sent me down here. Stupid Elementin, stupid wonder potions. Ah, so that's her background, alright. And potions? Sure, what short, what sort of potions? <laughs> Explosive, yes. Um, okay, I totally think Spar, um, that Pyromancer might have some stuff. I think the Pyromancer is named Sparkle, maybe? Remember her? She used to live up in the northwest part of the basement. I bet you will find all sorts of unstable stuff in her old room. Just remember, I only have enough magic potion base for one potion. This is our only shot, Leximund. It will take ages to gather more reagents if we screw this up. Wait, wait, wait. Um, yeah, can you repeat that again? How do we escape again? I think our best bet is to try. Oh, and blow our way through the big ward. Alright, I don't know the big ward. What is big ward and how it looks like, but alright. I can probably make a potion for the job. Um, if you have the ingredients. Okay, so... Alright, smell you later! Or something... Alright... So... Right now, Rasa actually has a plan to escape, although I'm not sure why she invited us along. 
I'm actually not quite sure at what timeline it is that we are in right now Like why she's so willing to escape and take us with her Because I think she could have easily escaped by herself without inviting us But yeah, let's just assume that maybe we are getting much closer with her And what is this? Oh, at first, you think they are toys, but live rats are snoozing on the end of Raza's bed. Alright, and this one? A collection of weak but lovingly made potions line the shelves, each too weirdly specific to be useful. Alright, and then this one? A collection of weak but lovingly made potions line the shelves, each too weirdly specific to be useful. Alright. So we need to collect some ingredients, alright? And hmm. I think from the look of it, I think it's safe to say that I think maybe Ressa dislike taking a bath maybe because she doesn't look like she has showered in ages or taking like a careful like taking care of herself properly i guess and there are two students in here so let's talk to them basement fanboy huh elementine is the best you know he sent a giant away once while dancing? He also sent us down here. <laughs> I love the basement dwellers. I'm sure he has his reasons. Besides, when we get through this, we will be the strongest wizards and witches ever. Hmm, yeah. Sure. I did not trust that. I did not trust that logic. And let me take a look at this place. Oh, there you go. The Muscle Wizard. Muscal Mancer. Oh. Whoa, bro. Can you like make me buff? Huh? <laughs> Wait, this is interesting. Open up the lexicon? Maybe. Oh, wait. Wait, I, I'm fighting him? You thumb your tattered broken spell book. You may have just the spell. Really? Oh, mighty? Yeah, cast. Alright. With a round of thunderous <gasps> applause, you embolden the wizard with the strength of a giant. And he also turns to the size of a giant, I think? Um, yeah, I say it's strength. Why is he growing? Oh, um, sir, I'm, I, I am so sorry. Wait, before I talk to him and then possibly get kicked out from the room, let me just explore everything, yeah, work it. A very polished plate sits on the wall here. Yearly keys lifting first place. Huh? Keys lifting? Your scrawny little arms can't help to move this. You clearly need to eat more books. Wait, you are eating books as a way of living? Alright, let me talk to this guy. <laughs> Giant Muscle Mancer. Yeah, muscle magic. Bro, I'm stacked like a library, bro. <laughs> I love this game. Oh my god. But maybe the downside of this game that I have encountered so far is... <laughs> oh, we have a duck as a forbidden spell. But yeah, one of the things that I think the game might be lacking is the quest guides. Like, it doesn't... It does tell you about where to go and what to do. 
But to do that, you need to pay a really good attention. You need to focus on the conversation that you are having with everyone in the game. And of course, it does not exactly pose a problem for me, but I think for others, it might be, it might make them feel a bit lost. Like maybe some of them would not be, yeah, have a good sense of direction about where they are going, about where they are supposed to go, things like that. But wait, what is that? Huh? Um, hello? Oh my god, she's glitching like crazy. Wait, um, excuse me. This girl is completely covered in beans. This is no way to trade academic literature. Oh. Oh my god, that is so scary. Morphing student? Not my bean scroll. And oh my gosh, should I talk to. Oh my god, I'm even afraid to get close to. Ooh, okay, I'm afraid to get close to this guy. Wait, let me inspect everything. And. Huh? Wait, you just eat that, Leximan? A plate of delicious fried eggs? You help yourself unashamedly? Yeah, that was. <laughs> I am so sorry, Morphing Student. I don't know what is happening with Leximan. Sometimes he just does things that I cannot control. That was my breakfast. I know, I am so sorry, but... Yeah, help me. This student seems to have found himself in a spot of butter. And lend him a hand. Well, let's see what I can do, alright? I cannot promise anything, but let's see. There is a man morphing uncontrollably here. I can see that, yes. It looks like he needs help. Yes, and... Um, trans... Transform. Is it working? I do hope it's working. Transform. All right. Oh, wait. He is still now? The incantation for transformation spells is pretty hard. And you may have tripped over a word or two. But look at that. He is not changing shape anymore. He is looking a bit... <laughs> Was he always that white? Yeah, I'm not sure what just happened, but I do hope he's happy with that. Can I talk to him? No, I can't. Wait, am I doing the right thing? Mm-hmm. And yeah, you, you should not be morphing anymore. I already have you transform. I do hope I'm doing the right thing. Alright. And if I'm wrong, then I am so sorry. I did not mean to. <laughs> and... Alright. Apparently, you can go into every room that we have in here, I'm guessing. And what is that? Is that a dock? That is very ominous. And who are you? Basement dweller. Alright. Leximan, friendly advice. Be careful going down that corridor. Oh, yeah, there is some kind of zombie ghost dog thing. Alright. Ah, I see. So I think they might chase after me if I'm not careful. Wait, what is this place? Huh? What is this place? Excuse me? This board describes some interesting runes. Apparently, if something is thrown into the circle, it will be expelled out with great chaotic force. Really? Oh, that is a new thing to me? Alright. And there are a lot of things in here. 
All right, there is a hat as well. Oh, I see. That is really cool. And what about the duck? No. And I am not being expelled in... Oh, oh, oh my god, that is so cool. <laughs> and scary, actually. And can I have you go into the circle as well? I want to see. Alright, nope. It's not that powerful. Alright, but what about this one? I still want to see what else that the duck is capable of. Excuse me, alright, duck, excuse me, I want to kick you into the circle. No? Let me kick you there. Why do I keep missing? <laughs> excuse me. Alright, that's not powerful enough, but... Okay. Alright, so that place is dangerous. Okay, what about the upper part of this place? Oh, wait, aren't you the... Mysterious Gremlin? Yeah, he's here as well. This mysterious little wizard stands by the corner clutching a dripping staff of black oozy ink. It blinks its eyes from the room above over to meet yours in an unsettling manner. It silently stares at you until you leave. Something feels off. Oh, maybe he needs help with something, maybe? Maybe. And maybe I don't think that... Um, I honestly don't think that all of them are scary. The gremlin in particular, I don't think they're all scary. I think they are just born to look scary. So that's why they acted that way. And oh gosh, there are so many things. Basement toilets, A2, out of order. Alright. And this place is actually really huge. Spark shooting range, keep out or get burned. Oh, that's where we were supposed to go. Okay, that means we're not going to go there just yet. Alright, and let me take a look around the place first. Oh, we have a hole in here as well that looks a little bit ominous, so we are not going there just yet. And what about the youths? Can I talk to you? No? And I cannot interact with this bookcase as well. Alright, and going down will take us to... Yes, the bottom part with the zombie dog running around. Oh, is this cafeteria? Or... No? I thought this is a cafeteria. Let me talk to these guys. Can I talk to them? Chili wheat. <laughs> Ghost pepper chili for dinner today. In basement dweller, I think there were some ghosts in my room again. If I feed them, maybe they will leave me alone. No, you have to keep it away from any ghosts. They have a problem with ghost peppers. <laughs> that is an unhealthy amount of cackling for an old woman to be doing. Alright, but I don't really fancy chili peppers. So maybe, ma'am, you can change the menu for today. I do not really fancy chili pepper, yes. And oh yeah, there's a room in here. Let's enter this one as well and see what they have. Oh, I am so sorry. You know what? Maybe I should just talk to that guy over there. But wait, the bookcase is glowing. A light topical reading on the usage of energy drinks. It appears that this student is conducting a comprehensive study on time manipulation via energy drinks. The rest of the book is covered in extremely bad and erratic handwriting, secrets lost forever. Okay, let's see if I can help this one with anything. Shaking student. 
This is not even shaking. This is actually insane student. He's laughing, well, in a not so healthy way. You give me something from inside that book of yours, something fast. Open up the lexicon? Yeah, I guess. Open up the lexicon, see what I can do with this one. Alright, yes, yes, cast a spell. Behold magic. Um stop. Yeah, I think it should be stop, right? And not not haste, I think. Yeah, stop, I think. Or do you want or does that man actually want a haste one? I'm not sure. You hold up your hand and simply shout stop really loudly. He and the world pause. <gasps> oh. Okay, yet as Brad suddenly returns to you, you realize the wizard is still frozen in place. Oh. Wait, huh? Is it alright for you? He is still now? Forever. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure what just happened. I think I'm like... <laughs> I am not sure if I'm doing the right thing, honestly, to all of these people down here. <laughs> it It's actually a difficult choice to choose. Like, should I even hasten him? Or should I stop him? And it also applies to the morphing guy as well. I do hope that they're all alright, that they're all okay. That maybe later on, like, I can help them. Maybe, I, I do hope that I'm helping them in some kind of way. Or, or maybe not, I'm not sure. But... <laughs> Oh, wait. I think I have... Wait. I think I have a safe right here. Mm, oh, do I not have a safe? I thought I was supposed to have a safe that... Um, let me check. You know what? Okay. Let me save in here first. Alright. Let me save in here. Okay, save game, and maybe we will save in here, in this one, and I will load the game from where we just started off in Leximan's room, and I want to check if we can do other things, yeah, if we can do other things to the other learner. I think that's the way to call them, learners. So let me start with this morphing guy, alright? Um, let me check if, alright? If choosing the other choice, because I do use the transform spell instead of morphing. So let me see if by using morphing to morphing, yes, if using a morph spell on a morphing when will actually help them. Yeah, Morp. What is this Morp B? I don't know. Let's cast this one. And yeah, maybe a second uncontrollable Morp spell might help. What do you think? It doesn't help. <laughs> Look at this disaster you have created. He is beyond help now. Oh my god. He is even more <laughs> powerful. Alright, because this is just something that I wish to know what would happen. So let's go to this guy as well and see if... Yeah, if actually... um, 
Yes, giving him the haste might actually help him. Alright. Let's see. So instead of stopping him forever because that word actually sounds very eerie, we will use haste on this one. Alright. Swishing your fingers mysteriously around as you pretend to cast a powerful spell, except instead you fish a potion of super speed out of your ropes. The wizard guzzles it down eagerly, then he is on the other side of the room in a blink of an eye. I can see the world shape sound i can see time itself oh i think for this one hastening him actually works because i remember that in here um, yeah he's doing a comprehensive study on time manipulation via energy drinks so i think he wants to be able to see the time and if we hasten him, yeah, I can see time itself. I think it actually works in some kind of way that, that is actually working for him. Alright. <laughs> oh my god, this game is actually brilliant. I love it. I love that. <laughs> There are so many creative things that the developer has put into the game And actually, wait, let me check the game Steam Store I want to see their tag because I haven't actually take a look at their um, tag Oh yeah, there we go They have a choice matter tag as a tag for this game so I guess, yeah, we do need to be a little bit more careful about the choices that we make in this game. Alright, so I think for my next episode, I will try to be, well, more mindful with what choices that I'm choosing, that I'm going to choose for my playthrough. Of course, still most of the time I will choose the choice that I am definitely will possibly like Yeah, this is the choice that I think I'm 100% is going to choose, is going to do when put in this kind of situation But maybe for the spell, especially for people that are in need of help and then what spell that we can use to help them I think I need to be careful I think I need to study their case more to know what spell that is going to be more suitable for them but yeah I think that's it for now for this video I'm sorry it's not that long as usual it's not quite of a long play as the usual video that I have up on the channel recently but I hope that, well, this video also can provide you with a cozy and relaxing time as well as some bit of a laugh here and there because this game is actually really hilarious. I see a tag, I see a funny tag on their Steam Store page and I have to say they are 100% right to put that tag in because this game is really hilarious. And yes, of course, as usual, if you have watched until this point in the video, thank you so much. I very much appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed to me and if you like watching this kind of video, feel free to subscribe to me. And don't forget to like the video as well and share the video to someone else that you think might need some cozy and relaxing time. And if you have anything that you want to say regarding this game especially or any funny moments that you find well, it's actually a thing that you want to talk about, feel free to do so in the comment section down below. And alright, thank you so much once again to Marvelous Europe, thank you so much for the opportunity for the offer to cover this game. This is a very brilliant game in my opinion. I really enjoy my time in here. 
especially the pixel art is very charming i think the pixel art definitely adds more to the humor that this game has to the <laughs> random crazy and chaotic moment that this game has but unfortunately for now i have to end the video right here and i will see you on my next video i will see you on my next time all right Oh, sorry everyone and see you later bye bye see you leximan see you learners basement and should we say see you later to professor elementine i guess not all right bye bye